I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive. So today's the first day at uh, Glacier National Park. Yeah, it's beautiful. And so far it's beautiful. Yeah. And, and we haven't even really gone to see anything yet. Well, we got up and we went to the visitor center because we wanted to collect information and talk to a ranger. Yeah. And get an idea of what's possible because unfortunately we're here at, in mid-June mm -hmm. and going to the Sun Road is closed right. 16 miles up. So we knew that our options were going to be limited, so we wanted to better understand what the best use of our time mm. was for the next few days. So we did. We got some good information. The ranger was very right. helpful. Um, Even though the going to the Sun Road is closed um, the first, after the first 16 miles from West Glacier, um, you can still get to the east side of the park, but you have to drive two, over two hours around. Yeah. Uh, in order to get there. We decided not to. And Yeah, we just decided two hours there and two hours back was just too far. So we're gonna make the best of it on this side. Yeah. I mean, there's always the chance that the road could open it in the next couple like of days, it. but it doesn't. None of the people we've talked to have been able to say, yeah, I, I have an in and I know it's gonna be open. <laughs> yeah, we're say, almost there. Yeah, I, no. you know, they all say, I wish I, I knew because I could become a millionaire because so many people asked them. And the ranger actually showed us there was pictures of like 45 feet of snow. Well, that's from 2013. That's true. But yeah, but he just showed. Yeah. Yeah. It was a prop. But, but, we, actually <laughs> but anyway. watched, we actually watched a YouTube video that said uh, they started early this year. They started yeah. clearing the uh, the road of snow early this year. But still, it's not but open. But it's still not done yet. So anyway, we, um, we, we've got enough information of things to do on this side. Hopefully we'll, yep. end, we'll find enough to enjoy. We're just gonna slow the roll a little bit. And we also got a stamp at the visitor center. Yep. <laughs> so got um, our passport stamp. Yeah, that was good, that was good. So after going to the visitor center, we took our little ride back to outside of the park. So just, just past the park entrance is a little village called West Glacier Village. And it's just a bunch of uh, tourist shops. And yeah, there's cute. food and there's, there's a gas station. No diesel, but we have gas. <laughs> but we had our pizza and beer. Yeah. We sat outside. It's a beautiful day right yeah, now. It's, beautiful. it's gorgeous out. And uh, yeah, just visited all the little shops and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and it was fun. Yeah, yeah. Everything um, in this area is uh, Huckleberry. Yeah. So I got us a dark chocolate Huckleberry bar for yeah. later. Oh, I'm sure that'll be for the next few days. There's quite a, it's quite thick. Yeah. But anyway, that was that was cute. After West Glacier, we went to Abgar Village. Abgar, yeah. Apgar. A P G A R Abgar. Yeah, and that's inside the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cute yeah. again. And it was very small. It's mostly just because there's an inn there or a lodge. But there's boat. also rentals, yeah, kayaks, and, and, and they have uh, boat rentals there. Yeah, which we might do. And it was on Lake McDonald. Yeah, which with a gorgeous, spectacular view. Beautiful. Oh, so, so we beautiful. got some uh, Huckleberry ice cream. I know, pizza, beer, chocolate, ice cream. I know, yeah. it's a bad day, but <laughs> food-wise. But hey, come on, you have to do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we um, we had some Huckleberry ice cream. It was really good. Oh, Sat and good. enjoyed the view. It's gorgeous. And we got we bought some firewood while we were down there, so mm -hmm. we'll enjoy yeah. a quiet you fire. To, you have to kind of shop around for firewood. Oh my because, gosh! Uh, yeah. In West in West Glacier Village, they wanted ten dollars for seven a pieces. Small bundle. It was seven pieces. It was like this big. Yeah. It was seven pieces of wood in it. They wanted ten dollars. So and this time we got we paid seven dollars, and it looks more like ten pieces of wood. Yeah. So much better. Yeah. Bigger bundle. So now we're just going to sit here and we're going to go through our information and plan the next couple of days. And um, after three o'clock, we can go to the going to the Sun Road. Right. You don't need a pass to get to the Sun Reservation, to the, yeah. or a reservation for going to the Sun Road after 3 p.m. 
Now we're only going to be able to go about 16 miles up, but we'll see yeah. what we can see. I'm we sure tried to get some beautiful views on the way. We tried to get a reservation last night, but the internet here is poor, yeah, so it was fine. really hard to make the app work. And by the time we got into the system, uh, they, all the all the uh, reservations were gone, so that didn't work. Um, but so then we just decided we can go after three. Yep. It's light here till 10 p.m. Yeah. It's 10 <laughs> o'clock before the sun goes down. Yeah. And we haven't even hit the summer solstice yet. Right, right. But um, we also have to find the night sky tonight. We absolutely yeah. have to. Um, There's a lot of trees here. Where we're camped, it is, it's all trees, covered by trees. I've got some Starlink set up, but it, um, it's very spotty. Today's our first full day here at Glacier National Park while we wait for going to the Sun Road to open up. We decided to go on a little hike. And we're going to do the Rocky Point hike here. So it's just a, a mile out and back. sitting there taking a couple of really great shots. We get up, George is packing his stuff back into his camera bag and he goes, oh, wow, do you see that snake? Seriously. Snake sitting, went right over where we were sitting. I would have gone right off that cliff. <laughs> I, but there was no question about it. I'm like, no, I didn't see the snake. I don't want to see the snake. I can't even imagine if his timing was a little off. I don't know if I captured this new camera. I can't tell where, where I'm pointing. Not cool, yeah. not cool, not cool at all. No. It's a little bit of wildlife we got to see. And here we are, I'm jiggling keys and we're carrying bear spray because we're watching for bears. And seriously, a snake. Oh God, jeez. It's all part of the adventure. Oh. able to get a ticket to uh, going to the Sun Road so we wait we waited until three o'clock after which time you don't need a pass so we're heading there now and we're gonna see what we can see we know that the full road is not open so we're going to just go as far as we can and enjoy the scenery
we've been driving and driving and driving, <laughs> and uh, before we really realized it, we're at Logan's Pass. Yeah. And we said, well, let's keep going, you know. So we kept driving, and we we're going downhill now towards St. Mary. It looks like the whole road is open. So we were at one of these pullouts, and we asked people which direction they were coming from, and they said St. Mary. So <laughs> this going to the Sun Road is open. We and had no idea. In talking to them, they said today was the first day it's open. <laughs> <laughs> so how lucky are we? I know, it is really lucky. It's just that we didn't plan accordingly. We thought we were going 16 miles down right. going to the Sun Road, and we thought that we were going to just make the best of it and see what we could see. And now we find out that it's open all the way to St. Mary, and right. we've already been on the road. It's 8 o'clock. Right. We've been on the road for four and a half hours, which is absolutely fine, but talk about flexibility. Yeah. You know, you've got to you you've got to have flexibility. So now the question is is do we continue all the way to St. Mary and then drive back <laughs> in the dark? No, you're right. It's going to be another hour, isn't it, to St. Mary? Right. I guess we don't. So I'm pulling into a pullout right now and we're going to go back the other way cuz you know what these roads aren't conducive to driving yeah, I mean, in the dark. Not, yeah, I mean it's when it gets dark it's going to be dark. We truly enjoyed our visit to Glacier National Park. The National Park System was one of the United States' best ideas. If you're thinking of visiting Glacier, we highly recommend it. Until then, we wish you safe travels and smooth roads. <laughs>